Hi, everyone. So in the cable industry, we're dealing with unprecedented levels of complexity. We're seeing things uh, impacting us from multiple dimensions, multiple directions. Literally every day we're hit with hundreds of issues that really need to be managed to an optimal level. The other issue is that we're seeing is that you're not even seeing the whole picture. So you're limited to these silos of your operational data and systems. And that gives you kind of a, uh, you know, it's almost like you have blinders on. And then how many times do we find ourselves kind of in the dark wondering, what is the real information I need to see here? And more importantly, what am I missing? So my name is Scott Casey. I'm with Ubisense. With me is Todd Cutie. Today we're going to talk to you about how we bring complexity, sorry, we bring simplicity to complex <laughs> network operations. <laughs> that was almost on purpose, I could say that. <laughs> so Ubisense My World is a breakthrough innovation. Basically, we combine uh, all kinds of operational data sources, including any GIS data that you have, as well as CRM and billing information, trouble ticketing, work orders. We get a combination of DOCSIS and other operational information. We bring it together into a single plane of glass operational solution, which gives you unprecedented visibility into what's really happening in the network. We also provide process-driven and business-targeted uh, applications that allow you to gain greater insights into the network. Todd is going to show you a couple examples of real live deployments. Thanks, Scott. Uh, the first example I'm going to show you is more of a systemic uh, node health application where uh, we're looking at telemetry over uh, even a day, first of all, in the last hour, and then over a three day period. And <clears throat> as you can see by these dots in here, there's a node that's been called out that has problems. So we're actually able to. Uh, filter on those problems in the field for a technician to be able to look at these uh, and, and make uh, targeted decisions on how to troubleshoot. So in this situation, you see there's a lot of issues going on. It looks like the majority of them are in uh, correctable code word errors. So <clears throat> since there's so much noise and filtering there, I can actually uh, filter those down and look at the more egregious problems that there are there and uh, make it, uh, you know, and find the, the toughest customers to, to uh, fix or the highest problem rate and, and take it from there. So in my next example, I want to show you more of a real-time or an ongoing, so it's sort of a knock-rock type um, uh, application where a lot of times rock uh, knocks are, are, are fighting with the issue between uh, f filtering noise down to a level that they can actually achieve and, and fix problems. Uh, so, <clears throat> so sometimes smaller outage and, th and things like that fall through the cracks. So in this particular instance, this is looking at us over a CMTS poll cycle every 15 minutes and comes back and shows out any anomalies it will call out a node. So I can actually drill into that node and you can either type it in and go directly into that node. Uh, and then from this point, I have a, a lot of information that are available. I can, I can look at whether it's cable data uh, for trouble calls that are going on or trouble calls in the field, but more importantly, I can look at where the problem's emanating from. So in this particular case, uh, it, it looks like there's a small pocket outage or, or, or degraded service in an area. And from here, I can actually drill in, and if I add my network into the, the equation, uh, I can actually direct the technician on where to go to fix the problem rather than just sending them out to an area for an outage. So back to you, Scott. Great. Thank you very much, Todd. So the other thing we wanted to talk about um, in addition to simplicity is we bring smart and fast to the equation. So the whole company, uh, Ubisense and the My World product, is really focused around this simple, smart, fast notion. And this is where we give you capabilities that are going to drive impact and benefits in your company. One of our major MSO company uh, customers, uh, they've seen substantial uh, reduction in uh, workforce res resources and costs in the field in responding to issues. They've also seen a decrease in MTTR as the MyWorld solution was deployed. We've also seen a 10x ROI in just the first year of the deployment of the system. The other thing I think we'd all kind of agree on is that complexity can kill the bottom line. So we're here to help you make sense of all of the operational information that really just is not available in one place. You can't see it all at once. The other issue is that um, often companies have solutions that you know, work uh, on a complex back office platform, and they're not really adept at web mobile uh, architectures. So we've solved all that problem for you as well. 
Now, a little bit about integration, and I know this is not the, uh, the happiest topic sometimes, and uh, I don't know if I hear a few groans oh. out there <laughs> from Todd. Um, so basically, uh, we're here to tell you that we've sorted all this out for you. So we understand how to integrate data. We know the difference between uh, information that has to be peri periodically loaded versus information that has to be near real time or, in fact, real time. The other thing is, by unleashing uh, the power of your RF design, your HFC network, your fiber backhaul, having that asset topology combined with operational data gives you unprecedented capabilities and insights. So let's look at a couple other examples. Thanks, Scott. So <clears throat> a couple of examples here. The first example I'm going to give, it would be a, a tech out in the field. He's troubleshooting a node. It's a, a plant tech. Uh, <clears throat> and he feels like he's going to have to take down an amplifier to further troubleshoot. Now, he can quickly, uh, using the MyWorld application, uh, determine what the impact is going to be and make uh, logical decisions whether there's uh, a hierarchy for, for making those decisions based on impact. So uh, in this particular case, he's work he knows the note, the uh, the uh, amplifier that he's working on, and I'll quickly punch it in here. And typically the piece of work, so it's not showing me right now, but uh, stand by one second. I'll move on to the next one and come there back to that. So <clears throat> the next example I want to give you would, would be on a fiber, uh, a fiber example where a technician has determined or heard, received word that there's been a fiber break and a cut, and so they've shot the, uh, uh, the fiber from the hub, and so I could quickly, in my world, go into the hub and pull that up. Uh, and unfortunately, folks, this is not working right now. I'd have to show you at the booth, but uh, if- There it is. Oh, did it come up? Okay, so on the connection, you can quickly go up and you can go into that hub you can actually, within that hub, select the fiber uh, and do a trace at whatever footage he puts in. So in this case, we'll, at 15,000 feet, if the trace was there, he could, qu he could quickly determine that the, that the outage was up on Cedar Street and, and send, and send the, the tech up uh, that way or the fiber crew out that way to address that issue. And you could also look at the report and see what's riding on those fibers and determine uh, you know, the, uh, the importance of which ones to get up online first. So back to the RF one, you could quickly go and do an impact trace analysis and determine how many customers are affected, how many residential, how many commercial, how many VIP, uh, and you can also view that in a report, and you can also map the solution and show what is affected as far as plant within your design within that and how many actives, and you can also export that report in pieces as well. So. Thanks, Scott. Back Terrific. To you. Great. Thank you, Todd. So you can see from these examples, uh, we're shaving minutes and hours off response times. And not only that, we're giving people an additional uh, richness of information that they previously did not have. So why now? What's happened? Well, two things really are at work here. One is the cable industry is dealing with unprecedented exponential growth. Uh, for years, we've been dealing with virtually linear growth in broad broadband uh, demand, but also services. The other thing that's happening is that there's a revolution in software technology. So open source, uh, wireless and mobile, the consumerization of IT. What we're doing is we're helping bring the best of consumer IT applications into the business to make you guys more responsive. The other thing is we're powering a new set of uh, best practices. So a few of them are outlined here. The main thing is, is that we're actually helping you drive business benefits. So we're focused on some very particular areas that are gonna make you guys more efficient and more effective. We can help open up your line of sight. Not only that, but it'll be like using all of your senses instead of just one. We give you this complete holistic view of the network, a multi-dimensional picture of network operations. We're taking complexity and turning it into simplicity. Stop by at the Tech Stadium. We'll show you additional uh, live examples of the application and how we're leveraging Doxis 3.1 and TNM. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.